heart and soul of the game is at the boxing voice. Ain't no other sight in the game to see the boxing voice. Rob with the Box Boys here with Mario Barrios, PBC prospect out of San Antonio, Texas. Just got saw you got some good work in, man. Um, uh, first off, you got you were supposed to be on the fight, um, on the fight call with Omar Figueroa. That fell through, and now you're going to be on a Laura card, correct? Yes, sir. Um, okay, can you tell us a little bit about that? How that came came about? Um, I mean, we we're just in the gym, you know, training for the main nine. Then um, my manager gave us a call, and he told us um, that uh, Lada was going to be fighting at the, probably at the end of May. So he told us that our fight was going to be changed onto that card. All right. I mean, is that kind of? It's not too far of a setback. It's only a couple of weeks, but that kind does that kind of play in the psyche with, with you focusing on the fight and preparation? Does that kind of like affect you in any way? Um, not really, man. I mean, I mean, we're getting ready for May 9th. You know, we we're excited to fight already. But I mean, it, it got pushed back two weeks. But I mean, it's not a problem. We're, we're just staying in the gym working. Yeah. And you've been show you've been showcased like in Vegas and other other um, you know from from state to state. But I mean, this is a little closer to home, three hours. So does that kind of also play into where you know you want to fight closer to home and eventually in, at home in San Antonio? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, I've been fighting uh in San Antonio since the last February. So I mean, to, um, to get a fight you know that, that's closer to home, you know, it's it's, it's really exciting. All right, and everybody's curious, man, because you're with uh, you're with the manager and, and a movement that's doing something new to boxing. Um, what what's the interaction like between you and and your manager Al Heyman? Um, me and my um, my manager uh, Luis De Cuba, I mean, me and him are always real close. And we, well, he's like the liaison, right? But uh, um, Heyman is is the guy that's running the yeah, the outfit, like, right? Like, um, yeah, yeah. So how how does that work with that interaction between you, De Cuba, and and Heyman? Um, we run uh, the he, he he's the one who who interacts uh, with with me uh, almost on a daily basis, and then uh, the Kubas, he he interacts with Al Heyman. All right. So you know they they moved you to Houston because you know with, with another of uh, the Kubas' guys, which is uh, Laura. Um, does that are you a little more excited about that? Seeing that that card is not going to compete with the Canelo card. Uh yeah I I mean the no the main night I mean it was real close with the Mayweather. Uh, with the super fights, so I mean, like, like um, a bunch of viewers, and they everybody were, were more worried about that fight than like than the May ninth. All right, here and uh, change the tunes here for a second. Um, uh, any word of a possible seeing you on the undercards of the PBC telecast coming up? Seeing that these guys are uh, putting on a lot of cars on you know on on multiple platforms out there, is there does that leave more of a chance of you getting some TV time? Um, I'm sure it has a big chance, man. But I mean, uh, we just wait on to see what what what, I'm, what my manager said. And uh, so far, I mean, we haven't got word of it. But I mean, it, it should be soon. Uh, you, and you're in the developmental phase, and you've gotten three stoppages in your last four wins. Um, is that is it y'all's goal to try to get these guys out early and to look spectacular, or get rounds in and kind of get some wrinkles in your game? Um, our plan, I mean, we just go in with, with our game plan. It's, it's, uh, it's usually a, a different game plan for every fight. I mean, if a knockout comes, you know, then it comes. But, I mean, we, we, we try not to rush anything. All right, and this is kind of like a pressure for young fighters to get KOs and uh, look spectacular in that type of fashion. So is that, is that kind of unfair to say, and, or, does, or does that not phase you at all? Uh, no, it, it doesn't really phase me because at the end of the day, I mean, I'm, I'm going to go in the ring and um, put in the work I need to and um, do what I have to do. All right, so um, your weight, I was gonna say, because you're you're a real tall kid. You're listed at six one, correct? Yes, sir. All right, so being at six one at, at your weight, you know, how long can you sustain it? Um, because your stature alone is a threat. Um, so how long do you plan on staying at this weight, or and how long can you maintain that? Um, I plan on staying at this weight, you know, as long as I can, you know, um, until I start getting bigger, you know, with age. Then um, well, like once it started getting too um, too, too hard to go down, then then I'll start going up. Cool, man. Young, hungry kid, and you're all boxing. And uh, with Heyman, I just want to last question to speak on um, how busy he's keeping you and how, how you know are, how satisfied you are with, uh, with with your career so far under the PBC. Um, uh, what would you say? Uh, man, being advised by Heyman is the, the best thing that's happened to me. And he's keeping me real busy. I mean, I, 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 I couldn't be more blessed with the way my career is going. All right, man. Well, appreciate the time, man. You look pretty sharp. Any last words for the boxing fans out there? Um, thank you, man. All the supporters, um, the boxing boys, uh, my um, advisor Al Heyman, my managers, you know, everybody every out there supporting me. Thank you. All right, Mario, boys. Appreciate the time, brother. Right, Catch up with you. All right, man. Hey, appreciate it, man. Oh, Did good, man. Did good. You. I was trying to, I was trying to think, and then uh, read, read. Uh,